Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. And today in my this particular video, I am going to discuss how we can save the rejected rows while executing the copy command in Snowflake. So as I have already discussed in my previous videos, that is from external stage, whether that is in S3 Ocean or in some GCP platform or in Microsoft Azure platform, if you want to load your data from those external stage to our Snowflake table, that time we can execute the copy command. For automation purpose in the big data pipeline scenario, either we can go with AWS Lambda and using Snowflake connector or cursor, we can basically execute the copy command or what we can do, we can basically create a snow pipe which will automatically execute this copy command as soon as something data will be loaded in the external stage, right? Now, sometime while executing this copy command, we might encounter error due to messy data or bad data, right? So how to handle that scenario I am going to discuss, okay? So let me first show you one scenario in which case we might encounter error while executing the copy command. So I here currently I am in my AWS management console. I have created one S3 bucket which is having the name demo testing snowflake. If I just click on this currently it is empty. Now what we will do we will create our external stage on this particular bucket. Okay. So I will be going back to my snowflake worksheet. All the codes I will be posting in the description box or in the comment section. No need to worry about the code. So first I am dropping the database Ramu if it is existing. Okay. Then here we are creating the Ramu database. We are using Ramu database. So as soon as we create Ramu database, basically two schema. One is information schema to store all the metadata information and one another is public schema which is can be used to create the tables or views and all. Okay. Will be created with this Ramu database. Okay. I can show you that also if I go here. Here you will see in Ramu database information schema and public schema is present. If I just refresh, see, right? So we are all good till now. And then here I am creating a video table which is having five columns: sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width as double type, and class is faircat type. So first, let me show you my data. Okay, so for this particular discussion purpose, I am using this Iris dataset, which is very popular in machine learning and data science related work. Okay, so if you see that sepal length, sepal width, petal length and petal width are double type and class is something which is having fair care or string type. So that's what we are mentioning in the DDL also, right? So here I will be creating this particular table. So table video successfully created and then here we are basically creating the file format. So if you see, we are give, giving, specifying the type as CSV file, field delimiter comma we are giving because this is CSV file with comma separated values. And skip header one we are giving because it is having header. If you see our data in the first row, header is there. So we are skipping that and then keeping rest of the properties as it is. And let us run this. So here our file format is successfully created. Now in the next step, what we are doing, we are basically creating the external stage. Okay, create or replace stage. No simple. We are specifying the URL s3 colon slash slash demo testing snowflake. This is the particular bucket name we are mentioning here. And then in credentials, we are giving AWS key ID and AWS secret key for that AWS account. Okay. Specifying the file format also. Make sure you are not sharing this AWS key and secret key with anyone else. Otherwise, your AWS account might be misused and you might encounter a huge charge for that usage. Okay. So here for demo purpose, I am showing that after this demo, I'll be deleting this particular AWS key and secret key credentials. Okay. So first I am creating this particular stage. Now, if I execute this particular list at the rate, the stage name we are mentioning, now we are getting no data. Because in our stage, currently it is empty, no file is uploaded, right? So first let me upload one particular file. So I will go to add files and then here I will be uploading our ID Setosa. Okay, click on open and then here click on upload. So for uploading, it will be taking some time depending on file size. It is uploaded. ID Setosa.csv is now visible in this particular bucket. All we need to do again, if I execute this list at the rate ramo.public.snowsimple, here we are seeing that this particular S3 file is there, right? And last modified all this information we are getting, right? Okay. Now, 
to load the data from that external stage to our this particular table all we will do is execute this copy command okay which i have discussed already in my previous video also simple copy command let us run this and it will take some time to execute so see no error we have encountered 50 rows were initially there and 50 rows only loaded successfully and for this particular file it got loaded okay so if i execute select star from video we should see 50 records because our csv file is having 50 records okay so 50 rows we are getting perfectly no error we have encountered because our data is clean now next time let me try to upload iris farginica another csv file which is having same kind of structure first four columns as double type and last column is basically var char or string type all i will do here in 1.8 suppose this is a double value i will add some string data okay hello world like this i am adding okay so what will happen while executing the copy command so this particular data is string type but this particular pattern with column we specified as what type that is double type so string to double type casting is not possible and it will simply throw error okay right let us see that so all we will do we will click on upload again we will go to add files we will load the iris for the file we will click on open and here we will click on upload okay so it is uploading it is uploaded now if we just execute this particular one again let's see what output we are getting see we are getting error numeric value 1.8 hello world is not recognized for this particular file okay right so this is what is happening that sometime due to bad data you might encounter error okay so that's what i want to discuss in my this video how you can save that rejected rows and continue the copy command for rest of the good records okay so this is the scenario where I, which I tried to create that is first four columns we specified as double type which should be double type but due to bad data some string information is coming and while doing the copy command okay while, while executing the copy command this particular string data is not typecasted to double and it is throwing error due to which whole copy command is basically failing. But what mechanism we want that is for whatever rows it will throw error save that in other place and rest of this rows rest of the good data load in our original table so if you want to do that kind of mechanism you need to add one more parameter that is on error equal to continue so it will continue the loading for rest of the good records okay so this is the simple command what we'll do all we'll do here i will go here and i will paste on error equal to continue okay now let's execute the copy command okay so if we execute the copy command see here it is showing that I in, in our iris Farchinika file also if you see that there are total 51 rows. First row is basically header so there are total 50 rows. Among 50 rows 49 rows should be loaded because only for one row we are having some problem and that's what it is reflecting here. Rows loaded 49 and error seen for one record and the error is basically if you see numeric value 1.8 hello world is not recognized. If you go to the right hand side. Here you are getting some more information okay right now in our original table earlier in id setusa 50 records was there so that 50 records records got loaded and this is another 49 records so our original table should have 49 plus 50 that is 99 records i'll be going to that but before that what we want we want to capture the rejected rows which basically got errored while executing this copy command so for that what you need to do just after executing the copy command you need to execute this line that is select star from table validate is the function then first parameter you have to specify the complete table name on which you wanted to load the data using copy command that is in our case ramu.public.video and then job id you should specify as last so last job id it will be taking it will try to validate and this select star will return basically all the rejected rows so what you can do select query whatever will return that you can store in another table for further processing that by data engineers okay so let me show you that so if i execute just now i executed copy command so if i execute select star from table validate ramu this particular one then we'll be getting that rejected rows information so all i will do create table rejected rows as select start from 
this one. So we want to store all the rejected rows which got errored up while doing or while executing the copy command. So let us run this particular one and see it is successfully created. So if I just do select star from rejected rows, let us see what we are getting. So see here we are getting complete information and if you go to the right hand side here you will be getting one column called rejected record. That is this is the record which which got rejected while executing the copy command. That is 6.3, 2.9, 5.6, 1.8 hello world, id is hyphen virtual. If you see our original data, 6.3, 2.9, 5.6, 1.8 hello world, id is virtual. That is for this particular record alone, we got error right. And here you can see some more information like for which file you got error that is id is virtual.csv, right? It will not at all consider id setosa because id setosa one time it got loaded. We have not modified id setosa, so checksum is not changed. So that's why copy command will work in an intelligent way and it will not reload the same data which is loaded earlier. Okay, right? So this is something how we can handle the rejected rows or save the rejected rows in a table which got errored up while executing the copy command. If and if I show you our original table, it should contain 99 records. See, 99 records are present. So this is what something you need to remember. All these course I'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section. You can take from there also. Just make sure as we are validating based on last execution query. So this particular select star from table, this one should be executed just after executing the copy command. Then only it will be able to validate with respect to the earlier or the last query. Okay. So keep in, keep this concept in mind. Right. So this is all for my this video. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share and comment, subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you.